Hi friends, please subscribe to Amravati Media and press the bell icon for more latest updates. Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Dynamic Chief Minister, Sir Jagan Mohan Reddy, Honorable Education Minister, Ministers, MLAs, friends, colleagues, it's a great pleasure and an honor to have the Chief Minister as our keynote speaker. He'll speak on the, mainly on the theme of bringing English education, media, English education medium to primary schools in Andhra Pradesh. A very radical step and this will be brought in from the coming academic year. The Hindu has an obvious interest in the English language and in promoting the English language. We are 141 years old. As an English language newspaper, the Hindu has contributed to the learning of improvement and improvement of English language proficiency at least in the southern part of the country over the decades. And uh, in August of 2016, we launched STEP, which expands as Standard Testing of English Proficiency. It's a, an English language testing, training, and certification program that our group has launched. And there are many other groups uh, uh, here in, the, in this in this area. Just to highlight the key points we are concerned with, it is the challenge, uh, what the, let me try and formulate the challenge we face in the field of education. It's a challenge of striking a balance between or reconciling two great objectives, the pursuit of quality and excellence on the one side and on the other, the imperative need to make education of quality at all levels available in a progressive, modern sense. Quality and accessibility, excellence and affordability, aiming high and throwing your gates and doors wide open, these must not be seen as contradictory or conflicting goals, even if it is easier to reconcile these goals in principle than in practice. The tension between these two great goals defines the nature of all serious intellectual and cultural endeavor in a society that strives to excel while being non-elitist, truly democratic in a contemporary sense, and just. Emphasize one objective one-sidedly, and the endeavor is guaranteed to get into trouble. It is in this context that uh, the government of Andhra Pradesh, and in particular the Chief Minister, have come up with a very radical proposal. It's not just in the area of language. It's a complete, it's, it's a project for a complete makeover of schools in Andhra Pradesh, first over a two-year period and then over a four-year period, and that will go on. And uh, it is notable that uh, this decision seems to have been made, this, this, this firm decision seems to have been made in a very interesting experience of the Padayatra, the 3,648 kilometers, is that right? 3,648-kilometer Padayatra across the state where, uh, among other things, he found uh, the state of literacy and uh, basic education to be in a pathetic state, that uh, the most elementary amenities or facilities were lacking in government schools, in rural schools, and the victims were the poor, and everywhere he found that there was a demand for, Engli uh, apart from uh, the basic goods, 
a demand for English medium education, and among the poorest families, he found that there was a tendency, a strong drive to shift to English medium private, private schools that were uh, offering their instruction in English. And this resulted in a, he also found that this meant a big financial burden on these families. So the basis for this radical step, radical, let me highlight that, that there has been in the, in, in the South over the last decade or so, a thrust towards English medium instruction. It happened in Tamil Nadu, it's happened in Kerala and so on, but nowhere has a government decided to universalize English medium instruction across the board in government and government-aided schools. The private sector is already doing it in, in English medium, but nowhere else has it been done in this way, making it mandatory to do this, leaving no choice to the other uh, to various schools. In Kerala, for example, perhaps you'll be surprised to know that more than half of the 37 lakh students enrolled in school are studying in the English medium. And there, I learned recently from the State Planning Board that uh, there's a rule that parent-teachers associations can decide to shift to the English medium, but at least one, one stream should be in Malayalam medium and so on. But Andhra Pradesh is, to the best of my knowledge, the first and only state in the country which has uh, made this manda mandatory and is universalizing uh, this, uh, this, this radical change. And it is entirely demand-driven, that is our understanding. I learned that uh, when you ask people across the state, and this is probably true in most other parts, at least of, the, of southern India, uh, when you ask parents, especially the poorest, the most backward, including scheduled castes and scheduled tribe families, what would you like your children to do? The answer seems to be virtually unanimous. And yet, uh, there are voices that uh, offer resistance and opposition, particularly those who send their children to English medium schools, private schools, and so on. So there are uh, those voices as well. I don't want to comment beyond that. But uh, these are uh, issues that we follow as uh, journalists, as follow as news media. And, uh, but this is only one pillar of uh, this project of a complete makeover of education. When we were traveling from the Chief Minister's uh, residence, he kindly invited us this morning for uh, breakfast. Uh, a few us, he was telling me about the plans ahead for higher education as well. So without further ado, I want to in, uh, maximize the time for uh, the Chief Minister's keynote address, which will be followed. Uh, he will also, he's agreed to take a few questions from me. And perhaps if some of you have it, if there is time, he may consider it. I also requested him to address uh, another issue, uh, which will be of news interest here. And he's, he's agreed, I don't want to preempt uh, uh, that part of the uh, discussion, but I'm, I promise you it'll be an interesting uh, address, interesting uh, interaction with the Chief Minister. There are further panel discussions after that. So let me welcome everybody, including the panelists and the other participants. And again, Chief Minister, Mr. Jagan Mohan Reddy, it's a great honor and pleasure that you are here. Please take the stage. 